So let's look here. Three cubed means three times three times three, which is 27. We already learned how to do that. Two to the what equals 32. So two to the x, 32 is two to the fifth. So x equals five, we've learned that. X to the fourth is equal to 2 to the 4th, so this time instead of having the bases the same, I have the exponents the same, so x equals 2. All things we've learned before, last chapter in fact. But then if you look over here, here's how this chapter is, why this chapter is happening. You can't figure out 2 to the what is going to give you 9, but you're going to learn about logarithmic form that you'll eventually be able to figure out the perfect answer. So technically I could go, okay, let's try. If I turn it on, two to the first, two. Two to the second, four. Two to the third, eight. Two to the fourth is 16. So it's somewhere between three and four, but we don't know exactly what it is. We could do a lot of guess and check, but guess and check is not efficient. There's gotta be a formula, okay? So you're gonna hear about logarithmic form. But when you see logarithmic form, it just means log form. Okay, so exponential form is what you're used to. When you see exponential form, there's a base. Let's make the base in blue, because why not? We'll make the exponent in yellow, because why not? And let's make the answer in pink, okay? So when you see the B, that's your base. The E is the exponent, and the A is the answer. Now, what's going to happen is when you get answers that you can't answer, you'll be changing them into log form, and then you'll be able to figure out the answer. So, let's look. In log form, the base is going to go way down here. So, it's really, really small. It's like a subscript. The answer goes here. Oops, that's in pink. And the little exponent will go here. Don't worry. It seems weird, but you'll memorize it. Okay? So I'm not asking you to actually figure it out. What I'm asking you to do is to change it to logarithmic form. When you're changing something to logarithmic form, the first thing you do is you write log. Now the base is what comes first. That's what you write down here like a subscript. Okay. Then the next thing you do is you write the answer. The answer is your 9. Then comes equals. And then comes the exponent, which is 2. Okay. So, if you look, when I do this kind of problem, it looks like this. This comes first, then that comes second. It's kind of, it makes a circle. So when I think about it, I make a little circle. Okay. So if I'm going to do that again, I'm going to make a little circle. So it's going to be this comes first, then this, then last is this. So let me zoom that in a little bit. Okay. So first I write log. Always start with the first thing, base. Make it small, make it to the bottom. Then I go 0 0.04, normal size, equals negative 2. All I'm doing is changing it into logarithmic form. That's it. Next one. Log is the first thing I write. What's the base? 16. Okay, we're making a circle. I guess I could have made the circle like this, too. Either way, it's making a circle. Normal size 2 equals normal size 1 fourth. Okay? So all you're doing right now is just changing it from exponential form to logarithmic form, where each time I want you to see, let me zoom out so you can see the consistency, the base, the base, the base, here, here, here. The next is the answer, here, 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 every single time, it goes there. And then last, the little number, there, there, there. Make sure you get this. This is the most basic thing, but if you don't get it, it will be a bit confusing. Okay, sorry, it's a little blurry. All right, so now you have it in logarithmic form, and you need to change it to exponential form. Okay, so we start on the left. We just do the same game. I'm not writing log anymore because I'm changing it to exponential form. So first comes the base. Let me zoom that in. So first I go 10 squared equals 100. Now how do you know I'm right? Well, because 10 squared is 100, so we know we did it right. Do it again. 12 to the 0 equals 1. How do I know if that's the case? On, and if you don't believe me, you're going to go 12 to the 0, and it's 1. That's how you know you did it right. And the last one. 
8 to the negative 1 equals 0.125. Now some of you go, well that's not right, that doesn't feel right, it's a decimal, but I want to remind you, if I change that to a fraction, it's one-eighth, because you're moving it downstairs. All right, so when I moved the calculator over, I moved it onto the computer, which paused everything, so I talked for a while with nothing happening. Awesome. But here's what I want you to see. Blue, yellow, pink, blue, yellow, pink, exponential form. Blue, pink, yellow, blue, pink, yellow, logarithmic form. Okay, um, there's some special properties here, and you'll be seeing them again. I want to show you that on the, in the, or not on the, in the beginning of the packet, there's a lot of rules you're going to be learning. So what I did is I put all the rules on the first page, okay, and we'll go over them when I see you guys. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to evaluate it. So you're going to simplify it. Now with the fancy calculators, you're going to find out the fancy calculators will give you the answer. But I want to show that I can do the problem without a calculator. So like last chapter, we wanted things to match. So if I look at 64, if I think about it, let me see if I can find a pencil here, as 8 squared, I don't know what I could do with that. But if I thought about it as 4 cubed, okay, you're just going to watch it and then I'll prove it, okay? Then these both have fours. This right here, and give me a second, I'll explain it, equals one. And anytime you have a little exponent, you make it big. This is when you're simplifying, and the answer would be three. So let me explain, okay? If you look right here, there's a rule that says if the base and, um, if the, base and the answer are exactly the same, then it equals 1. Log BB equals 1. So log 2, 2 equals 1. Okay? So I'm going to do the same thing here. Log 4, 4 is 1. And any time, I guess I didn't show that, but any time you have a little number, let me show here, when you change it to exponential form, it gets big. Okay? So let's try the next one. Let's scoot this over. Log 25. Well, the great thing is, the base already is the same as the answer. So I just need to show it as to the first. This whole thing equals 1. This little turns big, and 1 times 1 is 1. Let's try the next one. Log 5. I want this to be the same. So I go 5 to the what power is 625. Use your calculator. It's to the fourth. This log 5, 5 is 1. The little turns big, and 4 times 1 is 4. Let's go to the next one. Log 3, 3. But the problem is, is how am I going to make this turn into a 3? Well, I know 1 over 27 is the same thing as 1 over 3 cubed. I know when I have a, fr a number on the bottom and it's a fraction, I can move it to the top, and then it turns negative. Because if it's negative, I can move it to the bottom and turn positive, just like last chapter. Now my bases are the same. Log 3, 3 is 1. Make my little big. And negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Do you need to show all this work? Heck yeah, you need to show all this work. Okay? That way you're showing that you can simplify it. So let me show you again every time the little turn big, the little turn big, the little turns big. You can only make the little turn big, now please hear me, when it's in log form and you're changing to exponential form. If I have something that's exponential form right now, I can't go, okay, now it's big, so the answer is 6. No, it's in exponential form. It's exactly as you understand it. 3 squared is 9. Okay? All right, let's go to the next page. Let's go over some more rules. Okay. These rules are going to tell you that if you are, let's see, it's, oh, this one shows. This rule here tells you when you add logs, you're really multiplying, just like for exponents, right? If I have x cubed times x to the fifth, it's x to the eighth, because when you're multiplying exponents, you're really adding. So when you're adding logs, 
you're really multiplying because it's going backwards. So the first thing I'm going to do when I see two logs, as long as they have the same base, which I have to make in blue, which means it's kind of hard to see. As long as they have the same base, we can put them together. Okay? Like if I have x cubed, sorry about that, and I have y cubed, those do, those do not have the same base, so I can't put them together. But... If they have the same base, where if this was an x, then I could make it x to the sixth. So really focus on that. The bases need to be the same. The base is the bottom number. So I'm going to rewrite it as log 4, 2 times 32. Yes, you need to show this work. Then I literally multiply four times uh, 2 times 32, which is 64. And now this is just like the previous page. Log base 4. So what do I want that to be? 4. 4 to the what is 64? 3. All of that turns into 1. Little turns big. 3 times 1 is 3. Let's do the next one. Anytime I add, it means I multiply. Log 6, 36. As soon as I have it as one log, what do I want? I want that to be a 6. 6 to the what is 36? 6 squared. This is the same. 1. Little turns big. Done. Let's go to the next one. Log 2, 1 times 8, log 2, 8. As soon as I see base 2, what do I want to do? Change it to 2. 2 to the what equals 8? 3. Log 2, 2, 1. Little turns big. Done. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Bases are the same. Stop freaking out just because you see a fraction. The bases are the same. So, log 1 third and then multiply those together. If you don't know how to multiply them, you'll use a calculator, but a lot of us know that 27 times 1 ninth is 3, and then 1 third log. Now here's how it's different. This time the base is 1 third. So if the base is 1 third, this needs to be 1 third. So what am I going to do? 3 is the same thing as 3 to the first. Problem is this is a whole number, but this is a fraction. If I move it to the bottom, it turns negative. Okay? So that means I know that it's really one-third to the negative one. If you don't believe me, one-third to the negative one. Don't put minus one, and I get three. Okay? Little hint. If you see a fraction and then you see a whole number, make something negative, and it's going to change one to the other. This whole thing turns into one times negative one is negative 1. There's another rule. What does this rule say? When you subtract, it really means you divide. If I have x squared, I mean x to the 6th and x to the 4th, you go, hey, 6 minus 2 is 4. Or more on top, more on bottom. When you're saying more on top and more on bottom, you're really talking about subtraction. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did above, but this time instead of subtracting, I'm going to be dividing. 32 divided by 4. Log 2, 8. As soon as I see that, I want this to be a 2. 2 to the what is 8? 3. That becomes 1. Little turns big. Done. Next. As soon as I see subtraction, I know that it means divide. Log 5, 25. As long as I have one um, log now, I can now make them the same. 5 squared is 25. That turns into a 1, little turns big, done. Next one, log 3, 8, 0, 1, 9. Who cares that the numbers are big? I'm going to use a calculator. It's okay. 8, 0, 1, 9 divided by 99, 81. Okay, log 3, 81. Doesn't matter. Hey, this is 3, 3 to the 4th, 1, little turns big, done. Okay, Let's do the next one. Subtraction means, I mean, subtraction means divide. So divide it. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to use my calculator. I'm guessing it's 7. <clears throat> Great. Log 7, 7 to the first power, because that's what it means. That's 1. Little turns big. And there we go. Okay, this video is about to end. So your homework will be this.
which you probably won't be able to do until after you see me tomorrow. But that's the first homework.